Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all well. A slightly different video this week. We are going to show you how to improve your Google search engine results while using the structured content plugin using Elementor Page Builder in WordPress. So how do we improve our Google search engine results using a thing called structured content? Now essentially what structured content is, it tells Google what elements are good uh, content and which are better understood by Google itself and in turn Google will see that content on your pages and then it will rank it better within the search engine results. Now we are going to be using this plugin structured content uh, it's a great little plugin however uh, one of the things that uh, I've noticed is it doesn't actually integrate well with Elementor page builder so we're going to run through how to use the structured content plugin within Elementor Page Builder. Now to start off, there's quite a few videos already out on YouTube. Uh, there's a few by uh, Niall Patel, which tell you about SEO and the best practice for SEO. So I'm not gonna actually go into a lot of detail about that. You can uh, watch Niall Patel's videos. I'll put a link to in the description below to one of his videos, which talks a little bit more about structured content. So what does that look like? So if we take one of my pages, one of the Boobeam pages, uh, one of the keywords that I'm trying to rank for is Xbox One, no signal uh, to TV HDMI. Uh, I am currently ranking, I think, on the fifth position here uh, on the first page, which isn't bad. Uh, this is my web page, which talks about uh, Xbox One, no signal detected error. And as you can see, underneath the actual result is the FAQ pages from my web page. Now, obviously, what this does, it you know, draws more attention to your results uh, from people searching those keywords. And it's very similar to the, uh, the Google set FAQs that you get uh, at the you know, top of the page. Now, you could eventually rank to actually being in one of these FAQs, which is set by Google itself in the little feature snippet up here. So taking a look at my results, we've got the FAQ here. And obviously once you click on one of them, it gives you the answer. You can close that, etc. And this is actually the structured content here. So Google has indexed my page and it's seen I've got the structured content elements within my uh, Elementor uh, page and it has uh, returned these results. So as I say, it's a great way of actually getting some good uh, results in Google. So let's run through how we actually do that. So let's jump across to my WordPress dashboard. I'm already logged in. Now the first things what we need to do is actually install the plugin itself. So click on plugins, then click on add new at the top. And then over here in the search box, type in structured content. And it's actually this first plugin here that you need. I've actually got it installed. So what you do is hit install now, then hit activate. And then the plugin will install. Now, if you're using Elementor Page Builder, that's pretty much all you need to do. You don't need to, there's no settings you need to change because actually we're gonna be using short codes to uh, use the plugin within the Elementor Page Builder. The plugin itself comes with a content block for Gutenberg. Uh, however, you know we're using Elementor Page Builder, and it doesn't actually integrate uh, with uh, Elementor itself, unfortunately. So let me quickly show you the Gutenberg uh, content block. Let's just create a new page, and then as you can see up here in your blocks, you'll see this FAQ, and that's the actual uh, plugin content block. So as we're not using that and we're using Elementor, let's take a look at one of my pages and I'll share with you in this example how to add an FAQ using structured content within Elementor. So let's use this PlayStation support page. It's currently under development so it doesn't matter if we mess it up too much. Edit with Elementor and then what I usually do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and then add an FAQ at the bottom of the page somewhere. So let's give it a quick heading. We'll call it, uh, I don't know, let's call it PlayStation 
support FAQ for now. And then what we need to do is add a short code. Short code, grab that block and drop it just underneath the heading. And there we need to add some short code. Now I've already prepped some short code and I will add that in a link to the description below so you can see it for yourself. But essentially the short code looks like this. So it's got the opening statements for the short code, and then it consists of a title for the headline, title for the question, and then title for the answer. And then you just literally pop in your text around the speech marks. Now, what you do need to do, the headline title or name needs to be unique. The question title or name needs to be unique and the answer name needs to be unique. So when you have multiple questions like I've got here, make sure you've just got different numbers at the end of it, essentially, which I've done. I've just called them headline one, two, and three, question one, two, three, and answer one, two, and th three, and four, all the way down. So what you essentially do is then type in your question in the speech marks here. I've got, how do I fix the resolution of my PS4? Make sure you've got a closing speech mark. Then the next title or variable name, Again, speech mark and put your answer in and then make sure you've got the closing speech mark after it. Again, to the next question. Oh, one thing also to, to note out, I've got my uh, titles listed as head of fours, um, which basically highlights the question in uh, that format. You can have it as any heading you want. It just works nicely on my webpage to have H4. Finally, we need to add at the end the counts, the number of questions you've got. I've got five, obviously, if you had you know lower than that or higher than that, you just change the number. So you had three, just change that number to three. One important part is to make sure you have HTML equals true there. That basically indicates to Google that the structured content is good uh, to be displayed. So make sure you've got that there. Then you can also add a style sheet class if you want to, I haven't added that. So all we simply do, I can copy all of this. Then going back to our short code, pop the text in there like so. And then you see the structured content lays out the FAQ nicely for us. Now, this looks great, but to me, what I wanted to do is kind of get it a little bit more visually nicer so i quickly uh, created a little couple of lines of custom css to change the formatting of this a little bit so click on advanced at the top go down to custom css and then again i'll add this to a link in the description below have this little bit of custom css copy that and then we just pop that into the custom CSS field. And then you see it bolds the uh, title and it also changes the font color to red. It just makes it look a bit nicer. Then click update. And then we're pretty much done. And we can exit back out to the dashboard. So let's have a look to see actually what that looks like. Let's just refresh this page. Then if we scroll down, we can see we've got the FAQ here. Now, if you've already submitted your web pages to the Google Search Console, you can just leave it as is, and then the next crawl, Google will update its search results. But what I like to do is actually just request Google re-indexes the page for me, just so it hopefully gets the uh, search results displayed a little bit quicker. So quickly copy the URL go over to your Google Search Console. Up in the top search box, just pop in that URL, click return. Google goes away and retrieves that data for that page, and it returns the results of that page. Now, at the minute, my one says FAQ is detected um, because I was testing the page earlier on. Um, yours will not have this if this is the first time you're doing it. 
Um, so what you literally need to do is do a request indexing. You click on that button. It will take a while to actually do that. So it's going off and it's actually requesting the indexing and the search crawl. And then when the page comes back, you will see that eventually this FAQ will have a green tick next to it, just like this one here. So it eventually comes back and it says it's been requested and it's been popped into a queue. And then hopefully you will start seeing your search results like this. So as I say, just a real quick video just to show you how to use the structured content plugin with Elementor Page Builder. It's a great plugin. When I first downloaded it and wanted to use it, I couldn't actually find a straight answer to how I actually get to use it with Elementor Page Builder. So I thought, you know what, I'll create this video. So I hope that helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.